my practice is pretty uh, open-ended. Uh, it isn't really bound by one particular medium. And uh, if anything, it's pretty much driven by ideas um, and narrowing what I guess is a, quite a broad space in terms of the potential of any sort of idea is in the least bound by perhaps my own uh, personal narrative. Um, so I identify as a Tungrong man, uh, which is interesting within an Australian sort of arts uh, epoch uh, in that um, uh, I, I commonly and um, uh, you know, fortunately find myself um, afforded various opportunities such as um, uh, the likes of this show, Willem Bick. So I'm standing here now within, to a degree, or perhaps I'm just n near the edge of, um, and perhaps maybe the, the start and the, the end of, of, of the artwork um, is open to interpretation, but I'm within of the earth. A specific trip to Tungrong country, which um, is actually near uh, present-day Kyneton, um, led to uh, a particular site where, as per those who were more familiar with that area, um, I was uh, told that there are various geoglyphs um, scattered throughout the landscape. All in all, after surveying this general area, I came um, across one particular uh, rock, which I guess announced itself to me, which led to an extended period of uh, contemplation and engagement with and without the lens. In one sense, in, in thinking about how symbols operate and sometimes as stand-ins for things that are beyond ourselves, that a photographic print came to sort of be the nexus, sort of be the, the, the fulcrum of uh, the installation. In this sense, a boulder, as both a symbol but both as country and all its potential, I guess my work is quite propositional as well, is that it's not proclaiming something specific but it is as much posing the question as to what country means or what country could potentially mean both for First Nations people and, and other people too. Part of the process of the work coming to, to be what it is involved um, obviously a site visit or actually a few site visits to Tarawara and I guess I um, was uh, really sort of envisioning what was this vibration that both symbolically and for all it could potentially represent um, for the work um, being a part of the space. And it's emerged in my practice where I uh, tend to uh, be drawn to architectural interventions and think of parts of a presentation space where work isn't, um, I guess, more uh, traditionally presented. It came to have me discover this, um, what I guess is a, a wall store, um, or more broadly a storage space. So there's walls as part of the gallery for various exhibitions that come in and out of here. And for me, so work behind or work beyond the, the standard walls of the gallery otherwise acknowledges that the presentation of art, both by First Nations people and otherwise, is not as straightforward as we might otherwise consider. Um, that, for me, it's part of a broad range of um, uh, relationships and um, systems, of, systems of power and, and hierarchy. For me, getting in behind um, the, I guess, the uh, ordained presentation um, walls of, of a gallery is part of expressing my agency um, as both an artist and a First Nations person. So this work here is very much, I guess for me, an amalgamation of um, the, the way that I've come to uh, respond to the conceptual framework of Will and Bick, but also in bringing my own subjective approach to those 
questions and those ideas, including what could be considered one of my main ways of working, which for better or worse could be called institutional critique.